All right, welcome to the latest episode of the Coleman Power Organic Fitness Podcast. So these come out every Thursday, and this show is going to be touching on Q and A's that I pull from my social media platforms. So those main platforms that I'm quite active on the most would be Instagram, sent in to me directly in DM, TikTok, that's absolutely after exploding, and following that, then there's questions coming in directly from Facebook and Messenger. And also on YouTube, this is put up on a weekly basis now, especially the like so the interviews and the Q&A podcast that I put out. So that's another platform. And they're all Coleman Power Organic Fitness. So if you're not like literally just spell my name, can't go wrong. So it's the easiest way to connect with me. Just send me a message directly and I get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So this show, we get straight on into it. And <clears throat> we'll set a timer. So these shows don't ever go any more than 30 minutes because I think that's a fine um, period of time for people to consume so much information all in one period of time. So the first question is, what are my essentials for each week for shopping? That's the first one. Okay, I'll run down to them. Scales for tracking progress. What are my thoughts on it? Then the likes of rest days. How many should we take? Should we take rest days? Question number four is six in total. So adding in turmeric and the benefits of it, how do you do it? Then you have number five, can chemicals affect weight loss? And then we have the final one, the sixth question, but I'm going to pair together with five and six, that being, where's the best place to get organic foods? So we'll go back up to question number one. It's the likes of what are my essentials each week for shopping? So I do my shopping typically on the weekends and my Anybody that who, uh, who is on the likes of the Organic Fitness Program gets a shopping list and incorporated in that is foods that they are recommended to buy and consume and get the ones that suit them and their lifestyle and their current diet that they're on. Because in my personal opinion, there's not a specific one diet that suits everybody throughout the 12 months, throughout your life. One period of the year, you could be eating a high percentage of salads during the summer. We're coming into summer. I can't wait for the sun is getting warmer. The sun is coming up here now. As I'm recording this, the sunrise early in the AM. <clears throat> and on that list, and what I do is what I recommend. So the fact is that there's proteins and there's carbohydrates and there's healthy fats. So you have, because that's what the body runs off typically. Okay, unless you're in ketosis and you don't have a high percentage of carbohydrates in your diet. So we'll touch on the carbohydrates that I recommend people to get. And what I get firstly, it's the fact that I either get a sourdough bread or I get oats and I make my own bread. Oat bread is something that, I is quite easily or oats. In fact, they're one of the things that I highly recommend people to add into their diet, especially if you mention the words is uh, organic is expensive. The fact is that oats are one of the cheapest carbohydrate and organic sources of food that you can get on a regular basis. I recommend Flavins, but you can also get any other brand. But the thing is, I want people to shop local. I want to shop fresh. I want people to get it organically and our Flavins are from Waterford and I'm actually from Waterford originally. I'm not affiliated with them, but the fact is that that's an Irish product. And if you shop in with a little rally, there are other British. And if you're in America, that's a different story. But if you are in Ireland and you have the opportunity to buy organic and Irish, make sure that you're buying Flavins because that's just supporting someone and families and friends and people who are in a job. And that's the whole thing about it. It's not just about looking after one part of your health and one part of your life is about the knock-on effect of other people in the area and that's what I'm a firm believer in as well help the people around you so carbohydrates then following that will be pasta pasta and like I would have bought likes of pasta and quinoa is another one bulgur wheat on top of that and a lot of those things may contain gluten but what I must touch on is a lot of people don't have a gluten intolerance is they have a glyphosate intolerance because they have very very similar symptoms such as bloating ear fruit bowel syndrome and as a result of that I've trained and mentored people on uh, and with the organic fitness program that has got them to introduce grains back into their diet but only organic grains and having um, no effects on their no negative effects. The whole idea of it is glyphosate is a carcinogenic and it's one of the most toxic chemicals. It's a water soluble um, chemical that's sprayed on crops to speed up the ripening on oats, on the likes of grains. So if you can understand one thing, it's getting less foods or less toxins that contain 
the less foods that contain toxins in your diet, the better. Why? Because your body can function at optimal levels as a result of that. So I suppose those are my complex carbohydrates. And I rec recommend complex carbohydrates in your diet for your slow release of energy. So that's the likes of breads, as I said, the likes of potatoes would be another one, quinoa, bulgur wheat, lentils is another real easy one. All these things cook very, very quickly. And as a result of that, I cook and can have a meal straight after work or after a workout within no more than no more than 15, 20 minutes, 20 minutes at the tops. Why? Because if it goes any longer than that, I'm going to eat the leg off a table because I'm living on my own and meal preps have got to be quick and they've got to be fast. And then what I end up typically doing is either next day's their last night's dinner is the next day's lunch. It's just a simple thing that, um, especially a lot of you working at home or want to bring it into work in the lunchbox and reheat it or have a cold as a kind of type of salad. And then the next thing I suppose is the likes of healthy fats. Healthy fats can come in the form of nuts, seeds, and nut butters. So the first most important one is the likes of, I suppose, hemp seeds. Hemp seeds are a complete protein as well as a healthy fat. They contain all nine essential amino acids. <clears throat> and I've been asked a question there recently in a conversation. What would be the one food? It was difficult to ask, answer. Sorry, uh, the fact is that what's well, the one food that I would choose if I was on a desert island to eat forever? And then I thought, geez, this is a very difficult question for someone who's inter interested, majorly interested in food. And I just kind of think about it for a while. And they kind of wanted a quick answer, but I took my time. I suppose hemp seeds would really be up there. Why? Because as I said, it's, it contains... Uh, it's a seed, which means it contains fiber, it has protein, has all nine essential amino acids, and it contains healthy fat. So your body could actually run off that alone, but that's not uh, what I recommend. So the fact is that that's one of the things that I have in my meals throughout the week. And that also helps with, like I said, me containing or getting in and bumping up my protein, which most people are not eating enough of, and the other one is the likes of fiber. So protein and fiber being another important, two important things to add into your diet on a regular basis to be a healthier and happier individual because fiber is linked with gut health. Gut health is linked with improved mood, increased absorption of fat soluble vitamins. And as well as that, when you're getting them organically, they're very easily getting organic. The ones that I have are from Anua, um, that's also a Galway-based company. You can also get other ones. But the thing is that, again, I try and support the Irish and local uh, companies and I actually have a discount code that I'm going to tell you about. I don't get, you know, I have no, no affiliation with them, but they've given me a discount code. I'll put it in the show notes. It's my name. Again, most things make it easy for everybody. It's my name. So if you're buying things from a new and natural, just put in my name, Black Capital, C-O-L-M-A-N, and you get 10% discount of anything. They also do cacao powder because that's another thing that I have in my diet that is essential why because it comes from the bean can improve your concentration it's high in antioxidants i'm major major believer in antioxidants why because their higher concentration is one of the main differences between organic and conventional the fact is they do have a higher percentage of antioxidants and then what i would also have as a healthy fat in my diet on a regular is flax seeds okay flax seeds contain a high percentage of omega-3 healthy fats these reduce inflammation in the body and I don't ever be afraid of fats. Fats do contain higher calories than the likes of protein and carbohydrates. But the fact is that they don't, they're nutrient dense as opposed to the likes of trans fats. And trans fats are never beneficial in the body. I, I, a lot of people ask me, what's my, my cheat day or my cheat meal? I don't specifically tell or have a diet that I have to tell people that I cheat on it. I eat foods that benefit me. I love the way I feel. I have so much more energy. I had a diet completely different to what it is right now. I was reared on white bread, sausages, every morning with butter. That was my breakfast with either Weetabix, Cheerios, and our cornflakes would have been something that I would have had going to school. And then I follow on up on that. I went on to Nutrigrain bars loaded with sugar, full of absolute gunk. And as a result of that, then I was hyper to the last but I had poor skin. I had the likes of mild asthma and all these things were in accordance with then with ham sandwiches, with the likes of jam and butter crackers coming home when my main meals would have been the best because either my mom or my dad would have been cooking it. And that was my diet for a high percentage of um, my life so far, but I've switched it up completely. Studying the likes of foods and having a master's degree in organic horticulture, it's really something that has opened my eyes to how food has a direct result in the way you look, you feel, and how much energy levels you have. 
And that's what I want people to do. I want people to realize that the foods you eat are so important, they're key, in fact, to your overall health. And if you want to be healthier, if you want to be happier, it starts with the one food choice you have first thing in the morning. Following that, then it's the next food choice, your lunch. And then your third and your typically your main meal of the day, your dinner. And then with the likes of, I suppose, the third thing that I focus in on, so those are the carbohydrates, the healthy fats. And I suppose then another one for the healthy fats will be walnuts. Walnuts will be something I wouldn't add and incorporate into my diet again because they have higher omega-3. Omega-3s are so beneficial in the diet. Okay, they reduce inflammation. They speed up the likes of your um, recovery from training and they can also re- improve your brain function, right? Those are the healthy fats that I have on a regular basis. Now we're going on to the protein sources. I'm typically plant-based and why? one of the reasons why is because I do enjoy getting your best bang for your buck. And a lot of people are not eating enough protein, you're not eating enough fiber. And the likes of tofu and tempeh are a complete protein. So those things you can get fiber and protein from. They're a complete protein and it's something that I recommend to people to add in to try. I was rare as I said, ham sandwiches, steak, chicken, bacon, all those things, rashers. Then I went on to turkey rashers. And it's just something that I want people to consume. And it's much easier and cheaper to be plant-based and organically than it is to eat the likes of meat on a regular basis. I'm an Irish traditional man, and I will have on occasions and uh, definitely would have eggs on a regular basis. Why? Because that's something that is nature's multivitamin. That'll be one of my main things that I have daily if not very regularly on my diet with people with myself and with people that i train i also recommend eggs on a regular basis due to the fact that it's something that you can get vitamin a vitamin c vitamin d from as i said nature's multivitamin and it's low carbohydrates carbohydrates are things that are typically one of the macronutrients that people are overeating okay and that's just because processed foods are carbohydrates as well so i get people to either tailor down their carbohydrates and up their protein, up their fiber. So another reason why I have the likes of tempeh being exposed, it's fermented. It's good for gut health. Increasing and improving on your gut health is going to improve the overall, your overall health. Gut health is massive. It's becoming more and more prevalent that people are having issues with their gut, gut as a result of poor food choices. And fiber, as I said, it's recommended up to 30 grams of fiber per day. So just to put that in perspective, the likes of an apple is 4.5, if not 4.4 grams of fiber in that food item. And what I will touch on is the likes of meat doesn't contain the likes of fiber and that's something that people are over consuming on slightly and they're eating poor quality meat. They're getting the likes of poor quality chicken, they're getting a poor quality beef. And as a result of that, then they're not hitting their fiber and that's having a negative effect on their overall health. Improved mood is something that people right now and in the future will always lean towards. And I recommend to add in fiber to your diet for improved mood. Why? Because 90% of your serotonin is produced in your gut. And that just overall is such a simple fact that when you remember that you're eating higher fiber foods, your body will generally be and your mindset will be more positive as a result of that. And that's what one of the things that you have to remember. High fiber foods, high fiber foods then will be, I suppose, after the protein sources that I have on a regular basis is the likes of dark leafy greens, whether it be kale, whether it be spinach, whether it be rainbow chard all those things, parsley, coriander, those are herbs and spices that are high in fiber and antioxidants. Antioxidants are key. They're literally what reduce stress on the body. The more antioxidants you have in in your body, the better, okay? That's just something that I recommend to people to remember when you're shopping. Those three things, a protein source, carbohydrates, and healthy fats. Write out your shopping list now as a result of that. And off the back of that, uh, go to the likes of where... I recommend country markets and the likes of health food shops to get it as fresh and as local as you possibly can. So I suppose the next question then is the scales for anybody who's trying to be fitter and trying to get in slim down into the summer body that um, we all dream of. The fact is using the scales is what I like to call is like hopping up on the naughty step. It can fluctuate so much. Okay. It doesn't take into account the current muscle on your body and whether you've had a high percentage of liquid. Ah, Drinking, taking a drink of my uh, parsley tea here in front of me that can 
it high in antioxidants. It can improve my cognitive function. Why? Because it improves blood flow to the back of the eye, the body, back of the body, back of the eye. Improve blood flow. I need more parsley. <laughs> so it can improve blood flow to the back of the eye. And those are things you can also grow. Parsley is such an easy one. Coriander is another one that I have uh, someone training currently on the organic fitness program to, to grow in a pot on their windowsill and they can do a cut and come again system. That means you get multiple harvests from the likes of the same plant. So getting back to the why the weighing scales is not something and um, that I recommend people to use. I don't even have a weighing scales. It's not something that I ever recommend to people straight off the bat. It's important to have a rough indication. Why? Because if you're using and tracking your foods, you want to know roughly what uh, weight you are for determining how, many, how much protein, fats, and carbohydrates in your overall calories to consume on a day. But I, I must stress to you the fact that, it, again, it can fluctuate. It can go, depending on the time of the day, whether you went to the toilet, as I was just touching on, or how much water you had, or even how much of a particular type of macronutrients, such as the carbs that you have in your diet. Like carbohydrates are different to the likes of protein and um healthy fats is the fact that carbohydrates are converted into glycogen and the likes of glycogen for every gram of glycogen three grams of water is stored and that's just an important point so if you have higher carbohydrates whether it be from bread whether it be from lentils quinoa bulgur wheat and carbohydrates are also found in vegetables if you've had a higher percentage of vegetables in your diet and the weighing scales is not going down in any given week and you're starting to feel like things aren't working out as a result of you looking at a number on the scales and determine your progress of that, that's going to put you in a, in a downward spiral and not be beneficial to you. I want people to either take photographs, which I recommend on a weekly basis, and remember that it's not always about the likes of the scale. It's how you look and how you feel and are your clothes fitting you that bit better. Those are a couple of things that I highly recommend to people to do and, and use and incorporate into your lifestyle because the weighing scales, as I said, it's a naughty step. Like It can put you up, it can put you down, and the thing is that you should never determine your progress of numbers. It's much more inclusive to add in the likes of how you feel and how your clothes fit you. And with most people that I train, their clothes fit them a hell of a lot better. And it's not that the numbers ever went down because you can build a little bit of lean muscle tissue with using the added weights, which I recommend for added weights, added benefit. And I suppose then that brings me on to question number three. And um, this came in from the likes of Kelly that I have on the organic fitness program. So this is rest days. How many rest days to take or do you have to take rest days? Rest days are important because why? The body needs a certain amount of rest due to being able to perform at your best for your training. So each individual is slightly different. So it's to say that you should take three rest days, you should take two, you should take one. It's really determined on your current level. And that's tailored down with me and with anybody who's training. And you must remember that what I do suggest is two days on, one day off, two days on. And then you can either have the weekend off and or you could have one day where you do a light exercise. And remember that exercise doesn't always have to be added weights or using dumbbells or kettlebells or any of those resistant bands that you're using at home right now. What is important to remember is the fact that you can do exercise such as hill walking. You can get outside, you can go for a cycle. It's the days are getting longer. Remember that when we were, exercise is not just, okay, in your bedroom, in your living room, using the likes of, as I said, following videos or following a program from somebody that they've sent to you. It's exercise is anything where your body is moving. And 10,000 steps is something that I highly recommend to people. Why? Because you can burn between 300 and 500 calories per day by simply getting that out, going outside. And now that the, the sun is coming out, we're, we're in spring and we're running into summer. Sun is something that's so important. A lot of people are afraid of the sun. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be doing a separate podcast specifically on the benefits of the sun. Okay, it's a natural mood improver. It, it increases the production of vitamin D in the body, which improves calcium, which strengthens the bones. So that's really important to know. Getting sun directly first thing in the morning naturally wakes up your body. I recommend that to each and every body, okay? I don't recommend sun cream to people due to the fact that the toxins in it, but I also don't, don't recommend people to get sun burnt. So there's, there's a certain amount of sun that you need to get in your body, and that's different for everyone. Why? Because different skin color, different races, your genetics, 
And so for me to say it's 10 minutes, it's 15 minutes, it's 20 minutes, it's different for everybody. And that's uh, individual to your genetics and your skin tone. So, and your race. And the fact is that I recommend sun first thing in the morning and the likes of last thing in the evening as well, watching either the sun rise and or the sun setting. This is something that sets and improves your overall sleep. And sleep is inclusive of rest. So that's why I incorporated this into this, like to this question. Sleep is one of the pillars of health. So if you're not sleeping, um, your sleep isn't what it should be. You, you definitely should incorporate in the likes of watching and the likes of maybe getting sun on your face first thing in the morning. So getting back to the likes of the rest days, I recommend you try find a sweet spot for you but the likes of the two days on, one day off, and two days on again. And remember, it's not about quantity. It's about quality with the likes of your training. So anybody that is doing training, and if you think you need to do the likes of five, six, and some people feel the need to do seven, the thing is that you can't go 10 out of 10 in each one of those training sessions. And that's absolutely fine if you do feel you need and want to, because training is the likes of a de-stressor as well. I use it as a natural de-stressor because without it, I think I go off the walls. But uh, it's a way of you, me using up my energy throughout the day because I eat high nutrient dense foods and I have a lot of energy to use. And that's something that I do. And when I do train, I would train typically maybe higher amount than most people i could try i could and do sometimes train six days a week but i do incorporate at least one day a week where i either spend some time with family members and or just going outside for hill walks as i said or going for a cycle and trying connecting with people who are living relatively close to me and having chats and that's what makes it more enjoyable like there's that quote that comes to mind if you want to go fast go alone if you want to go far go together bring your friends bring your family members do go with the kids your nephews your nieces anybody that you will come with you and be as active as you possibly can because it's important to bring family members and i'm a firm believer in the likes of a team and bring and be as healthy as you can with the people that surround you and are surrounding you and that just makes it much more enjoyable and when things are more enjoyable you're much more likely to do them long term and if your friends aren't currently on the same fitness journey as you try and encourage them and if they don't that's absolutely fine too and then if not, try join a group that can possibly or would like to do things at the weekends where you are being as active as you possibly can, going for hill walks, as I said, going for chats and going for and making healthy food choices, the best ones that are there, whether you're going out for a meal or not, or you're on your holidays or not, you're just doing the best that you can with the likes of the options that are available to you. So I suppose that's my sixpence on the likes of rest days. And then the fourth question is uh, sent in from uh, Instagram, it was adding in turmeric to it. How do you do it? What's the ways that I recommend? So, turmeric, I'll talk about the benefits of course. It's massively high in antioxidants. It's one of the uh, organic fitness spices that I'd, I would have regularly in my diet. Okay. It contains an antioxidant called beta carotene that can literally improve your skin at a cellular level. So, that beta carotene is also found in carrots and sweet potatoes. So, if you eat excessive amounts of this, um, some of you may know or have or even heard of people who have had their palms to turn a slightly orange color due to the fact of overconsumption of carrots and sweet potatoes on whether it be a paleo diet and or just a, a more healthy improved diet than they currently were previously on so this is due down to that antioxidant beta carotene it can give your your skin your pigment a little bit of a glow so here the fact that people who are vegan or vegetarian they say god they have a natural they have a great glow to them it's because one of the reasons is they're eating a high percentage of orange colored foods that's one of the main and first benefits natural skin glow throw away your tans get them out add in foods foods of every vitamin and mineral that body can ever ever need eat whole foods single ingredients and turmeric either getting it from a root or powder i prefer the root because it's just something that to me it's a bit more natural and the fact is that you can how do you put it how do i put it into my diet okay what i do is i either put it into a smoothie a brain boosting kind of energy filler smoothie that contains a balance of protein fats and carbohydrates so whether it be a high protein greek yogurt or a soy yogurt if you tolerate if you don't tolerate dairy the fact is then incorporating in the likes of healthy fats i would put in maybe some flax seeds and then maybe some uh, pumpkin seeds that are high in magnesium that can reduce the likes of your muscle soreness and improve on your sleep magnesium is really important as well uh, in your diet so what else i'll put in maybe some spinach and some oats will be things that I will put in. I actually made one with a quinoa. 
or quinoa, whatever they're calling it these days. And, that, and that also bumps up my protein and is a complex carbohydrate. So those things are ways, and I would highly recommend you to add it into smoothies would be one way. Then the root or the powder form, but in to stir fries. But when you're putting it into stir fries or into smoothies, you must have black pepper. Black pepper activates the anti-inflammatory property. So it reduces swelling. And if you ever have an injury, which I have in my hand right now, or remember injuries or inflammation in the body can come at a small level and reducing inflammation is such as ones that we've incurred ourselves due to training is something that I do and I recommend. Why? Because muscle soreness doms are not, are not that damn. Um, Nobody really enjoys them. So it's kind of a love-hate relationship, but speeding up recovery from training due to the fact of adding in the likes of turmeric is something that I do myself and something that uh, you can do too. So if you remember to use it, you have to also incorporate in the likes of that black pepper too. So those are the two main ways that I can do or that I do on a regular basis. So as I said, I have it daily and that's something that is on, again, the organic fitness uh, shopping list to get and add to your diet to be a happy, healthier uh, individual, speed up your recovery, improve your skin health. Who doesn't want to be healthier? Just eat single ingredient foods. And where do you get it? I get it at country markets and I get it at the likes of health food shops. So let's move me on perfectly to can chemicals affect your weight loss? So yes, it can. So chemicals such as toxins sprayed onto crops can negatively affect like your, your uh, insulin resistance. So insulin is a hormone that's produced in the body and it's the fat storing hormone. So it can prevent you, like, prevent you from tapping into the likes of your fat stores. And that is something that is advantageous if you're looking to reduce down your body fat in any of the training that you're currently doing. So remembering that reducing down the chemicals in your body is beneficial and can help you reduce down the likes of your overall body fat, improving your body composition, which most people want that I train, that I mentor. And the fact is that how do you do this and where's the best place to get foods that you can, uh, don't contain harsh chemicals, such as glyphosate that we touched on as a carcinogenic and it's a water soluble vitamin that ends up in the likes of your, the water table, as I said, and then once in the water table, then it's in our drinking water and then it's in the crops that are irrigated with that. So what's in the soil is in the vegetables and what's in the vegetables we are the end consumer of. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, First off the bat, you can either grow a little bit of your own. Organic fitness foods, such as potatoes, such as rainbow chart, such as spinach, such as tomatoes, are all things that you can grow either in a small little polytunnel on your windowsill, herbs and spices. These are things that I recommend. And these are things you can simply, simply grow. Drews and artichokes are a, needy, a really uh, beneficial one. Why? Because if you can't grow Drews and artichokes, you might as well throw your hat at it. Literally, all you have to do is put a tuber in the ground is the exact same as a potato. Do I have one right here? No, it's on the kitchen table. It's over there. Can't get it too far away from the laptop right now. So the fact is those things are so important to add into your diet and dark leafy greens. But where do you get them? Again, you can grow your own or country markets or you can get yourself a box scheme. There's organic box schemes coming in and around all over the country right now. So you get in your hands or signing up to i'm again i'm not affiliated with these but i must get them on the podcast it's green earth organics they're based in galway but they're also small uh, local providers such as uh, cottage gardens based down in cork i'll tag him up in the show notes here as well and i provide uh, him jason with a small amount of salads and beans and courgettes and cucumbers and potatoes throughout the year and carrots purple carrots because they contain high antioxidants than compared to conventional i love growing things that are slightly different white and slightly darker in color because the main fact of the day is on top of all the other facts is that darker the color the higher the antioxidants so such things as beetroot and i also supply jason with beetroot but um that's just real simple things that um are important to get into your diet so get them local get them fresh get them Grow them yourself if you possibly can. And if you have any questions, to make sure you send them to me and I'll get back to you. I, I get back to everybody 100% of the time. There isn't anybody that I ever haven't got back to. So I suppose I'm going to leave it there because that's us coming up to the likes of the 30 minutes on the this week's show. So I just want to say thanks very much for uh, if you listen to the full duration of this episode. And uh, if you want to send me a message or e either on Instagram, Coleman Power, Organic Fitness, Facebook, Coleman Power, TikTok, my most active platforms, a lot of fun on there right now, putting over the same message, eat local, eat fresh, use training to your advantage and get yourself into a leaner, more toned physique, using added weights and finishers at the end and 
make sure you do more things that benefit you and less things that, that don't just to be a happier and a healthier individual make sure you get it organic and i always end these podcasts with staying saying stay tuned stay classy and keep it organic